A couple of years ago when I was here, I was at Ammunition Hill. Ammunition Hill is a site, it's also not very far from here, I could walk to it in about five minutes. It was a site of one of the bloodiest battles in the liberation of Jerusalem. 1967, 50 years ago, within just a couple of days. And during that visit, as I was standing outside after I'd gone through and done the little tour, I just began to say, it's time for them to annex the land. And then I just had to start repeating it. And pretty soon I realized that this wasn't something that was coming from me. It was something that was coming from the Lord. It's time for them to annex the land. In 1967, God gave Israel in conquest all of the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, all of the West Bank, the Golan Heights, and more. And yet instead of taking it at that point, for the sake of a peaceful negotiated settlement with their neighbors, Israel said, we, will, we are willing to negotiate for this territory. How much would have been spared had they annexed the land back then and just made a clean definition? But they didn't. But now I feel it's time, it's time for them to look at that issue. After that, a couple of months after that, when Rivlin became the president, the, I heard him for the first time as the first politician say something about annexing land. So I keep on praying. I'm praying that yes, let the government of Israel have a heart of David. Let them have the courage and the steadfastness to actually make some of those steps. It's only under Jewish sovereignty that there's freedom in this area of the world. Under Jewish sovereignty and a united Jerusalem, Christians can live together, Arabs can live together, Jews can live together, and for the most part they live in peace. It's only the governments, the PA, and those that have the big voice that keep on feeding them hatred. They feed them hatred, they feed it into the children, and it's all artificial. It's not really what the hearts of the people are saying. It's what they're trained to think. It's a brainwashing situation. So as you pray for this part of the world, pray that the will of God be done. His word says that he is restoring his people to this land with all of his heart and all of his soul. Well, if he's doing it with all of his heart and all of his soul, who are we to stand against him? Who are the nations to stand against him?